Hey weirdos, I'm back in my bathtub again. I know you all missed it a lot. I miss it a lot. You know, I see it every day, but I, I still kind of miss it a bit. So um, here's my Dandy Mott makeup. It looks like this. After I'm editing, it looked like this. Um, so if you liked it, keep watching. If you don't like it, don't watch. It's easy. This is my favorite makeup I think I've ever done, but I do have commitment issues, so that may change from whenever. So it might not be my favorite makeup look by the time I post this. I don't know. I don't really care. So yeah, the video starts now. Hey, small intestines. So um, starting off with things. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yes. Yeah. Sorry. I thought I deleted something. No, I'm a liar. So I'm taking this black cream or oil paint grease gray grease paint i don't i don't know what this is but uh it's a paint and i'm putting my face and i'm marking out the uh, outer mouth portion of the mouth of dandy mott's twisty mask mouth i hope that didn't make any sense to you because it didn't make any sense to me either anyways after i make the shape i go ahead and fill it in because that's kind of what you do oh wait i lied i make the teeth first basically i just sketch them out i make them quite round make sure they're even honestly if you don't get the same amount that's like necessary don't worry about it just act like you didn't mess it up and then i go ahead and fill the rest of them out then so now i take this red paint once again don't know what um, material this paint is made of but it's uh it's paint so i basically put this in no i don't basically do it i do put this where the gum line is and then I take this white paint and I mix it with brown so I can get like a cream paint. I don't know, I just don't want it white. And then I just fill in the teeth because the teeth are white off or off white if you're me and don't want it white. Then I take this brown contour. You can honestly just use eyeshadow. I hardly noticed a difference, but I still did it. I just put on the outer edge of the teeth. And then I take this darker reddish brown eyeshadow and I do the same exact thing just so it can be like a little bit darker because once again, didn't notice a thing. Then, I don't know why I showed you this on my hand when I could have just picked up my white paint. But I'm basically taking the white paint and I'm putting on my teeth just to add a little extra highlight to it. Then I'm taking this reddish brownish eyeshadow and I'm uh, marking out my gums. I pretty much make the same bottom shape of the teeth on the gums below it, if that makes any sense. If you look at gums, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't look at gums, then look at a picture of gums. Then I take the red paint again and I pretty much just highlight it, except I don't notice a difference. But if you do notice a difference, I'll do this step. Then I take this light pink paint and I do the same exact thing, except I think I stick this paint. Stick this. No, I put this paint above where I made like the little gum shadows, but below the teeth. Precisely. Yes, that is exactly what I do. Thank you, Savannah. Then I take white paint and I just highlight the gums. I want to make it look like drool, I guess. I don't know. It's been a long time since I did this makeup, so I don't really know what I was going for, but um, I'm highlighting. Then I stick the highlight back onto the teeth because I guess my highlight before just wasn't good enough. And then I go ahead and add it on the lips. Once again, nothing in particular. I just make the highlights match the picture the most I can. And if I didn't like that, I just made it to how I think I would like it because I never like anything. It's just somewhat there. And then I take the white paint and I'm starting to mark out where the mask is. And then I start to fill it in. But then I also realize I don't have a chin because guess what? Chins are useless. You don't need them. The only thing they do is like when you run to the wall, it touches the wall. Okay, that's it, okay? We have like noses for that, it's fine. So basically, I decided I wanted a chin, so I put on my neck and guess what? Chins are useless because you couldn't even see it. So it was basically pointless, but if you can make it unpointless, then go ahead. Then I go back in with the brown contour and I'm starting to outline the mask. Um, personally, I forgot what Twisty or Dandy's mod. Do Dandy and Twisty have the same mask? That is a good question, Savannah. I don't know. I think they do. But for my twisty makeup, I made it all gray and black. Um, but I guess for Dandy, I said, no, sorry, child. Let me be different and make it brown. So I take this brown and I basically make all the contour points. And then I go in with this reddish brownish eyeshadow. And then I just make the contours even darker. I don't put this in all the same spaces, except I think I do. I just make it in more controlled of an area. And I also put it on the non-existing chin, but also existing chin if you make it existing chin. Chin. Then I go in with this lightish, darkish gray eyeshadow. I don't know if it's light gray. I don't know if it's dark gray, but it's a gray eyeshadow. And I'm not contouring, but I'm making marks instead. Then I'm going back in with a white paint and I'm just adding some final highlights that were either lost or I just didn't add.
And then I take a glue stick and I glue it on my eyebrows. Why? Because glue allows you to put makeup over it. I didn't make up this answer, but that's just what happens. So I put on my eyebrows completely randomly. Then I take this eyebrow brush and I brush it upwards because that's how you get it flat. And then I go back in with a glue stick and I put it in the same motion I brushed it in. So I, then I take my foundation and then I get some brown, weird, we don't know the consistency of paint. And I mix it in together because my skin tone is very pale and I make it just a smidge darker and I put this all over my face with a brush because I'm weird and use a brush or I used to I stopped doing it now because I'm lazy and then I take a sponge and I blend it all in and I take this Mayron Mayron cream paint listen I'm not really sure what it is, but it does a good job at covering eyebrows. It's not the same skin tone as me, but I cover up my brows. Then I take this thing called, um, I think it's called an eyebrow gel, but I wouldn't trust me on that. And I'm making my eyebrow shape. Um, to do this, I look at Finn Whitrock's eyebrow and I make it the same shape. And then I take this dark brown eyeshadow and I'm filling it in. I try and make it look like hair, but honestly, uh, I just edit in hair texture anyways so if you're talented make it look like hair if you're not talented try and make it look like hair then I take this child I don't even know the color but it looks orange I don't know why it does and I contour my nose I basically make it look um square <laughs> and I also have a little divot on the nose because there's a divot on the nose and I also make nostrils I really don't know how to explain this stuff besides look at a picture and if you need help looking at a picture look at my stuff and hopefully that'll help you but don't listen to my explanation because I don't know what I'm doing and then I'll also just go ahead and fill in the eyes and eye bags and I put lines on the forehead this just just so the face looks more structured I then add eyeshadow onto the top of my forehead to make my forehead look smaller because it is rather large and then I add some eyebrow frustration marks because Mm, they're called wrinkles. They're called wrinkles, but I like the frustration marks. Anyways, so then I go ahead and add some cheekbones. Then I take this, I guess it's a dark brown eyeshadow, and I'm just deepening my contour. Mainly around the eyes though, it looks like, oh, not works sending it to the nose too. That's crazy, man. I also go ahead and add eyeshadow to my jawline and underneath my fake chin. I also make a line to where the underneath shadow of the clothing would be. I don't think it's necessary, but if you feel like you want to do it, go ahead and do it. Then I take this blue paint and white paint and I mix it together and I make light blue paint. And I start to make this little thrill, frilly thing. It's got a lot of... It's got a lot of voluptuousity <laughs> in it. I don't really know what it's called, but a lot of clowns have this. So if you wanna um, make yourself look like a clown, do this. Then I take red paint and um, I make this circle. It's a rather big circle. I was about to say little, but that would be a lie. And I, I do circle things and I fill it in. Then I take this dark blue, possibly royal blue paint. And then I get this, uh, ooh, it's a pink shade. I don't know my pinks, but it's a nasty color. So I'll just say it's a nasty pink color and I'm mixing it to make purple and I'm doing the literal same thing I did with the red. Then I go back in with a light blue that I had mixed for the ruffly thing and I do literally the same exact thing, except I make a semi-circle. Then I go back in with a white paint and I'm basically filling in everywhere that has not been covered yet. And by everywhere, I don't literally mean everywhere. I just mean everywhere where I want the paint to be. If you can't figure that out for yourself, I'm sorry. I don't know how to fix your problem, but I'm, I'm sorry. Then I take this blue eyeshadow, I wouldn't even call it dark blue, to be honest, it looks rather light, but apparently it's dark on this. And I start to make little ruffles everywhere, and I just make it on every single layer. And as I continue, I add shadows below the point where it looks like an M. McDonald's, let's think about a McDonald's arch. Where the arch is, you want to add a shade there. And then, you want to add lines after the bottom of the arch so it connects to the arches below it. Then I take varieties of gray eyeshadows and I start to add a little line in the middle, uh, some buttons, and then I add some wrinkles to the shirt. Then I go back in with the white paint and I'm starting to add highlights to the ruffles. I had no intention in mind. I just wanted it to look different so it could sit above it. If you know how to make stuff, make it look good. And then I go back in with the gray eyeshadow because I gained a few something and I figured out, hmm, yeah, these bottom ruffles, they're gonna need some shading too. So I literally do the same exact thing I did with the McDonald's arches above it. And that was it for the tutorial. If you happen to like it, leave a like and a little hearing feedback. So if you wanna comment something, that'd be greatly appreciated. I say this every time, but like, you don't even have to like say something related to this. You can literally tell me like, oh yeah, your dog, Steven. 
your dog Steven. And you know what? Subscribe too, because if you hear this, like, you might as well. Thank you. Goodbye.